Have you ever stopped to think about what makes a revolution successful? What drives a group of dissatisfied people to overthrow the established system and build something new from the ashes? It's a combination of passion, determination, and a cause worth fighting for. And that's exactly what we'll see in this epic story about the Jagerists, a rebel group that defied all odds and changed the course of history forever. So, grab a drink, settle in, and get ready for an exhilarating journey through the darkest and most inspiring chapters of the fight for freedom in Eldia. Our story begins in a time of darkness for the people of Eldia. For centuries, they were locked behind the massive walls of their insular home, Parody, living in a state of imposed ignorance about their true identity and history. The outside world saw them as demons, feared and hated, actively working to eradicate them from the face of the earth. It was only when the clandestine books of Amarly and Eldian infiltrated the walls that the truth began to emerge. The seeds of rebellion were planted when a young man named Aaron Yeager uncovered the dark secrets of his people's past, that they descended from the ruthless conquerors of the ancient Eldian Empire. This revelation sparked a fire in Aaron, fueling his desire to free Eldia from its cages and restore its former glory. And thus, the Jaegerists were born, a group of rebels led by Aaron who swore unwavering loyalty to their revolutionary cause. At first, they were just a handful of dissenting soldiers and disgruntled civilians, seen as nothing more than dangerous lunatics by the established government. But the flames of revolution quickly spread, igniting the hearts of hundreds who shared the Jagerists' hatred for the outside world that oppressed them. Their xenophobic and racially supremacist ideology found echoes in the minds of many in parody, eager to avenge centuries of persecution. The Jagerists' initial actions were dark, from the violent liberation of Aaron from his prison to the bombing that killed Commander Dalis Zachary and several other high-ranking officers. But for them, it was only the first step on a long journey to overthrow the corrupt royal government and ensure Aaron's victory. As their movement gained strength, the Jagerists infiltrated the ranks of the military, secretly recruiting sympathizers and establishing their own supply lines. They even deliberately contaminated the wine of several officers with Zeke's spinal fluid, Aaron's brother, and the key to unlocking the power of the founding titan. Nothing could stop them from achieving their goal. The final blow came when the Jagerists seized control of the Shiganshina district during Marley's invasion of Parody. Amidst this bloody chaos, they not only captured Zeke but also laid the cornerstone of their new regime, the acclaimed New Aldian Empire. With Aaron now armed with the devastating power of the founding titan, the Jagerists seemed unstoppable. But like any violent revolution, there was a high price to pay. Friends became enemies, families were destroyed, and rivers of blood flowed through the streets as those loyal to the old regime resisted. The Jagerists did not hesitate to subjugate or execute anyone who dared to cross their path, whether former allies or innocent civilians. However, nothing could have prepared the world for the apocalyptic spectacle that followed, the rumbling. An unprecedented event in which Aaron used the powers of the founding titan to gather millions of colossal titans from the earth and begin a relentless march to crush all nations beyond parody. It was an act of genocide on a scale never seen before, all orchestrated by the Jagerists themselves. In the chaotic years that followed, the Jagerists consolidated their total control over Eldia, shaping it into an unstoppable war machine. Even Queen Historia bowed to their will, proudly wearing the Jagerist insignia as she reshaped parody armed forces into a single formidable Eldian army. Elite Jagerist soldiers patrolled the streets in their new uniforms and heavy armor, rifles aimed at anyone who dared to defy the new order. The reign of terror thrived as they ruthlessly annihilated any remaining resistance. For the Jagerists, this was the final victory, Parody had risen from the ashes as a new empire, one that even Marley feared to meddle with. As the years passed, ordinary Eldians either applauded their new masters or lived in a state of paralyzing fear. The outside world barely recognized this transformed nation, once oppressed now becoming the ruthless oppressor that so many nations feared centuries ago. But did the Jagerists truly achieve the lasting peace and freedom they sought? Or did they simply replace one cycle of oppression with an even darker one? And what became of those few who fled to tell the tale, spreading seeds of hope for a better future? In the end, who were the real winners and losers of the Jagerist Revolution? Was it a victory for Eldians as a whole or only for the few radicals in power? These are the questions that echo through the corridors of time, waiting for a new day to dawn on the fate of Eldia.